Hi everybody, welcome to this introduction to linked lists. In today's video, we're just going to set up a scenario that, that basically mimics a linked list. We are going to be using Python and we're going to implement our linked list using an array. Okay, so let's have a look at how to do that. The first thing we need to understand is that a linked list is generally referred to as a list of nodes. And a node will have some data to be stored in the list and also a reference to the next location, um, to the location of the next node in the list. Now, because we're using an array to implement our linked list, the reference will be an index of the array. So this node has a data item of 13 and the next node in the list exists at index 4. So that's what that means. So we'll get started today by in Python designing this data type node. Okay, so let's just crack on with that. We're going to um, create, not a method, we're going to create a class called node and we're going to set up our constructor method, which will be called any time we try to construct a node object. And there are two attributes which are going to be passed as parameters when we construct a node object. And we're going to store them in class variables. So I'm just going to do it like that. So we're storing the data that is being used um, to construct a node object. And we'll look at how that works in a moment. I'm not going to make my class variables private. Let's just keep it really simple. These are um, public variables. So we've designed the node class, done. Now I'm going to see if I can set up this scenario. Okay, this is just a, a, a scenario to get started with looking at a linked list. So we've got one, two, three, four, five node objects. So let's just design them. Um, I'm going to call, yeah, okay, um, N, what shall I call it? I'm just going to use these index values just to, so, I don't know, just to keep myself um on track. So n0 is a node object which has a data item of 16 and a next pointer of 7. n7 is a node object with a data item of 13 and a next pointer of 4. Uh, the next one I'm going to call it n4. Doesn't matter what you call them, of course. But uh, that's going to be my strategy. 17 is a data item, and it points to the node at index 2. Notice that um, a linked list is um, a non-contiguous data structure. The nodes do not sit next to each other in memory. So this is referred to as a non-contiguous data structure, whereas a classic array of course, is a contiguous data structure. The elements sit next to each other in memory, starting at index 0 in Python. N2 has a data item of 29 and a next node of 3. And I'm going to say N3 has a data item of 1. And it's the last node in the list. So it doesn't have a reference to a next node. So I'm just going to use none. Okay. Now I did tell you that we're going to implement this scenario using an array. So I'm just going to create an array called linked list and let's just see if we can build it. At index zero, there is this node, which I've called N zero. There isn't a node at index 1, so I'm just going to put none in there. 
is there an index? Eight. There's N7. There's N2. Okay, let's put that in there. N2 goes there. Do we have an N3? Yes, we do. N3. Do we have an N4? Yes, we do. Do we have an N5? No, we don't. Do we have an N6? No, we don't. Do we have an N7? Yes, we do. And just to be cheeky, let's let's say that there are some other elements in this array which are just unused. They're not members of the list. Okay. <laughs> is this going to work? Who knows? Um, so this is my linked list. N0 is going to jump to N2. That's the next in the list. No, that's not true. N0 jumps to N7. So N0 jumps to N7. N7 jumps to N4. N4 jumps to N2. N2 jumps to N3. And that is the last node in the list. Okay. Okay. Now what we're going to do is create an algorithm to display each data item in the list in order. So it should be 16, then we go to 7, 13, then we go to 4, 12, 17, then we go to 2, 29, and then we go to N3, 1. So that's the that's what we should see. Okay, now then, let's see if we can design that. I'm going to use a while loop, and I'm going to, I need my root pointer, don't I? Root pointer, because I need to know where the start of the list is, and it exists at index zero. This is the first item in the list, so the root pointer has a value of zero. Actually, I'm not going to mess around with the root pointer, so... I'm going to create another pointer called um, search pointer. And I'm just going to assign it the value of root pointer. That seems a little bit convoluted, but I could just say equals zero because I'm going to start at the beginning of the list. I'm just going to say while search pointer doesn't equal none, because remember, it's going to start with a value of zero, then it's going to become 7, then it's going to become 4, then it's going to become 2, then it's going to become 3, and then it's going to become none. Okay, so while search pointer doesn't equal none, we're going to print out the value at search pointer in the list. So that is a node object, and every node object has a data variable. So that's what we want to print out. And then we want to update the search pointer. So if, if the search pointer is currently zero, we want it to become seven right? It's going to become 7. Then it becomes 4, then it becomes 2, then it becomes 3, and then it becomes none. Okay, so linked list search pointer, which is the current value of the search pointer, 0, linked list 0, dot next. Okay, so how this works is search pointer starts with a value of 0, Link list zero dot next. Link list zero dot next is the new value of the search pointer. We're updating the search pointer. Okay. Now let's run this and see if it works. Bring. We start at node zero. Nodes n zero. That's sixteen. Then we jump to n seven. That's the next one in the list. That has a value of 13. There it is, 16, 13. Then from N7, we jump back to N4, which has a value of 17. There it is, etc., etc. So that is how to display every data item in a linked list in 